Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of Rod's Random Reviews. Guess what? We're going to talk about knives tonight. And just right out of the chute, I'm going to say, hey, how many of you knew that um, Smith & Wesson had knives? We all know about their guns. We all know about all those good things. But, but hey, um, when you're out camping... Uh, actually, there's a little bit of camping noise there in the background. Uh, you you need a good knife when you're out RVing and camping and that sort of thing. So we all know about uh, you know your standard pocket knives. You really need a, a you know a good standard pocket knife when you're out camping and that sort of thing. Uh, you know this one is just a. Um, uh, what you want to call it a, a white tail cuttery handmade not a bad little knife to have handy uh, there's a lot of these buck knives that sort of thing around but, but when you're out camping in the woods or uh, you know RVing you do need a, a handy knife or two uh, to make things happen now look at this funny little thing I've, I've got a very nice Swiss army knife somewhere. I couldn't put my hands on it, so I just got this little fingernail thing handy. But I do have a nice um, uh, army Swiss knife, which, you know, has some scissors and screwdrivers and some of those things. Um, but I'm going to get into this Smith & Wesson here in a second. But I did want to throw out a, uh, you know, a little bit about a... Uh, a Leatherman, you know, it, you, a lot of people I know carry these Leathermans around when they're camping, you know, on their belt. So obviously you've got everything under the sun going on here. Uh, it starts out with some sort of a pliers, but if you start looking in here, you know, you've got screwdrivers, you've got knives, you've got Phillips heads, you've got flat heads. You've got uh, various things that you might need with a Leatherman. So it's always handy if you're out RVing or camping to have a Leatherman on your belt. And it doesn't matter if you're on a hike or if you're around your RV, you don't wanna go in the RV or you don't wanna pull out the toolbox. Chances are uh, between this and your nice um, Swiss Army knife, you know, you're gonna have whatever you need to kinda, kinda get that going. So I also keep one of these in each of my vehicles, uh, something similar to this. So there you have it. But hey, uh, let me talk a little bit about, about these uh, Smith & Wesson knives. For the money, this is what I want. And this was like 20 bucks, ladies and gentlemen. And looky here. It's, it's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it's got a window breaker here, so you can, um, you know, if you're locked in your car or something, you need to break a window, there you go. If your uh, seat belt you can't get open, you can just take this little hook here, slice your seat belt open. Uh, you see a lot of these things going on, you know, Amazon and eBay and whatever, just for these two features. But hey, why not go ahead and get yourself a very nice knife? And let me tell you something about these knives. Um, they're, like I said, my adult children are big on knives for whatever reason, from camping and being in junior ROTC and things like that. And I can't even think of the brand names, but some of these, this knife looks a lot like some of the brand names of, of um, some of the things you can get at Cabela's and whatever, and they're like a hundred bucks or 150 bucks or 200 bucks. This one was 19.99, ladies and gentlemen. I think it might have been normally 29, but let me tell you something. If you need to uh, skin a deer or, or something like that, you can do it with this one. Now, uh, you know, there's a few little safety things and that sort of thing going on, but you do to close it more than likely, you know, use, uh, be, be very, very careful. So, but when you're out camping, uh, you need a knife. And of course this has the little uh, clip here on the side, to, again, to inside your pocket, that sort of thing. 
But hey, they start getting more expensive. This one was more like $29.95, I think. And, uh, you know, it's got a safety latch here. So, again, if you want to close it, you know you're talking about that. But uh, if the safety's on, you can't open it. So this is the one I'm probably going to carry in my pocket. Um, but it also has a quick release. And I'm not going to go into the quick, quick release function here. But... Um, the quick release, you know, allows you to get into it quickly and, uh, as it, as it might say, but anyway, this is another one I wanted to have handy. So, uh, so listen to this. My wife thinks I'm, I'm, uh, crazy sometimes, but I like to use one of these knives to, to uh, slice open my apples. I try to eat well, I try to eat an apple a day. It doesn't work out that way. So I really eat maybe four or five apples per week, no more than one per day. But if I take this knife and slice the apple a little bit, uh, just slice some chunks off, it um, makes it very easy to eat your uh, eat your apple. <laughs> so um, now who's going to go out and pay, you know, 25 bucks for a... Um, knife just to cut their apple but but there you have it ladies and gentlemen um, there are knives um, like this at Cabela's at at uh, some of the other sporting goods stores but let me tell you Smith & Wesson um, makes good products you know, you can get the ones where you just push a button and it shoots straight out. I forget what that's called, automatic opening knife. But these two, uh, you can catch them on sale, you know, whether it be at Cabela's. Actually, I think I did buy these on Cabela's uh, uh, on sale. They're probably on Amazon and that sort of thing. But yeah, this one has the ceramic glass breaker. It has the um, strap cutter, you know, for your car, that sort of thing. So I highly recommend, you know, I've had these quite a while now. Uh, they don't look like I haven't used them that much, but um, but in comparison to what my son-in-law has and my daughter has, um, you know, I can put 80 or 90 bucks in my pocket or 100 bucks in my pocket, and I think I can live with a Smith & Wesson um, assisted opening stainless steel blade aluminum handle safety liner block knife so there you have it thanks for watching rod's random reviews i promised you some random uh reviews and there you have it with knives sorry i didn't have my swiss army knife tonight but oh it's locked it's locked yep it sure is there you have it rod's random reviews be sure to subscribe and like, and I guarantee you, I'm gonna have some more random reviews for you that you just might enjoy and help save you with a buck or two down the line. Have a good one, bye now.